Hello, this is Cal Cat, the Cal Catster, and it is Thanksgiving night. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to watch the Orville later. This is an update of, uh, the latest thingy, um, and. Okay, it's 11.23. Uh, tomorrow is the annual. Oh, it's Black Friday tomorrow morning, so. So if we do that every year, we go to Black Friday and make fun of it. <laughs> uh, tomorrow is, yeah, so there's other things going on. I'll have to get back to Orville later in the week. I'll uh, watch the Netflix version of it, but, uh, but, um, because tomorrow is Black Friday and other things are going on. Yes, uh, I, uh, yeah, okay. Now, uh, on my cell phone, I just received word that, that the convention, the first one, yeah, San Jose Comic Con, Silicon Valley. Uh, they just notified that uh, me that uh, early, early special thing that they are they're gonna have Stan Lee and that they're gonna have this this year and uh, Cal Cat will of course be there. So yeah, that's in in the in the spring, uh, early yeah spring. I think it's April. So yeah, we're going to San Jose Comic Con again. Yes. Mm. Hmm. Right on. Uh, they offered a shirt if I paid for it early. I did not pay for it early. I haven't decided to do that. I'm going to go to Black Friday. I, pro I, I probably don't need to pay for it early. Uh, I, I can get in. Uh, yeah. Um, and, and Fanime, of course. Uh, all of these 2017. Fanime 2017 is going to be gamers. And hopefully we will have at Fanime, or they will have we, I'm not working for Fanime, what am I talking about? Too much turkey and, and, and mal mal malanin or whatever that is yeah, and and and, uh, and sugary things and stuff, so yeah, sugar overload um <laughs> but yeah uh, so sure, uh turkey and stuff, uh yeah mm. Fanime is going to be gamers. I think they're going to have uh, Angry Video Game Nerd back. And they're going to have... Trying to get... They're, they're trying to get Angry Joe as well. So, we'll see. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that'll be cool. Um, we don't know him, but they're, they're, they're trying to get him. Bring him on, him on board, because he's a game guy. Yeah. Uh, let's, uh, we might see Scott. It's possible. Uh, we didn't get any of his footage from the Star Trek thing, though. And uh, hiatus for Chimera ends in the, in December. So we'll see whether we can actually get some filming done before 2017 is done. Because at this point, we've had some filming last March. Just pickup scenes in March. It has actually been five months, all I can. <laughs> and we haven't done anything uh, all through the summer. But we did a lot of other things. And also the Trans Tech, uh, third Trans Tech sequel is going to be in pre-production as well. So, yeah. F uh, that's all this is, really. Just that. And I thought it would be funny to do it, like, tired and messed up. Psst. I've, done a, I've done a few videos like that. Yep. Anyway, so... And also, uh, the Mark's cards wanted me to gripe about net, net neutrality, which is the, uh, uh, which in a nutshell is the uh, uh, the companies want to deregulate the internet so that they can charge more. Basically, that's what's going on, so that Google or Amazon or whatever can charge more and uh, uh, slow down your bandwidth, make you make you pay for it. Which is probably not a good idea. They'll just go to Bing or somewhere else. Uh, it's a free market. The internet is too free for people. So they're... Well, it's not free, but it's kind of... Well, the providers aren't free. But but yeah, they're, they're, that would just piss everyone off. I would think. So yeah, uh, could could grossly affect the channels. Uh, but we're still doing it. Yeah. Still doing it. Hmm. Yeah. Also looking for a new vehicle. Hmm. So anyway, uh, yeah, so... <sighs> mm. I'm going to close now. 
What's weird is there's like a box of Benadryl here from before at some point. It just happened to show up on my desk. I wasn't doing anything with it. It's just, it was there. So, no. That's a little weird. Um, pss. Also, there's some sheet music from the choir that I accidentally nicked from them to give it back to them. Let's see what we got here. Christmas play stuff. Let's see what we got. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Um, pss. Uh, Angels from the Realms of Glory. Uh, away in a manger. A Christmas Alleluia. That's a new one. An Angels we have heard on high. Now this song is best done while high. It's a kite. Hmm. After inadvertently using the whipped cream as whippets. No, I'm just kidding. I'm stupid. <laughs> but but shit. I did I did it earlier though. Blasted, I was blasting the duster into my computer and some of the duster hit me in the face. But I don't really think I like inhaled it or anything. It was gross. Um <laughs> ah, <laughs> yuck. Didn't taste very good. Um but um mm, the angels we have heard will high be like mmm token. Anyway, see you at Black Friday the water bottle. Anyway, uh, so, like Friday. Oh yes, tomorrow there will be a live Calcat appearance. The movie Coco is coming out, so we will be, uh, I will be there at the theater at some point tomorrow. So, you can see Calcat live at the theater uh, watching Coco. Probably one of the first showings. So, Calcat. Yeah. Ironically, this video is probably not going to go up on the channel tonight, so won't actually know so saying I'm gonna be there is kind of pointless <laughs> but but yeah um be there anyway um yeah I'm gonna end this now <laughs> but you know what Charlie Brown mm, it is too bad that reasons for life Charlie Brown's not around them all because that was a funny video that was really funny oh, shit. I'm be Creech all of a sudden yeah, um, this is, <laughs> this is an update. I guess you could put it on the update channel. Sure, it's an update enough, I guess. Um, Danny Crane, like, yes, yeah, so let's reference a show from, like, eight years ago, where, like, yeah, let's, let's do that. That'll make sense. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> Actually, I don't know what anybody's watching nowadays. But talks about The Walking Dead, I haven't seen it. I've seen probably three episodes of that show. I've seen the pilot of the first one. I've seen an episode somewhere in the fourth or fifth season of it, I think, with the guy who was the kid in the house and the guy and the other dude. And there was the zombies outside. And then I've seen Fear of the Walking Dead's pilots. And I was like... What the fuck? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh, I don't get it. <laughs> Shit. So, well, why would the cop guy walk into the dark room? That's the last thing you do in a slasher movie. I mean, uh, uh, um, go here. Um, apparently, he's not a very good security guard. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> and I've, I've had not seen any Game of Thrones. So I have no idea who have these author people who are like, I was in Game of Thrones and now I'm in a movie. It's like, okay. <laughs> That's nice for you. <laughs> mm. But I, I, I saw in the local paper how it said, I don't know what kind of a weird tangent this is, but how it said in the local paper that two witnesses to a... A local private school chapter, I won't name it, uh, had been busted, uh, they, they busted the school for, like, covering up a sex harassment scandal at the school. Some private school. And I was thinking at the Starbucks when I saw that clip, 
Hmm, so these guys, so this one dude who was sexually harassing thought when they said private school, they meant private parts. Hmm, I don't think they did. Well, that's, that's not a bad joke, so I thought I'd just throw that out there. Um, it's tasteless. So. Um, hmm. And also there was a commercial with this lady, well, football lady, I guess it's an early, yeah, football commercial. And the lady, lady's husband, I guess her husband, had a Raiders jersey on, a Raiders jersey. And she told him, we're not going to the Christmas party wearing the Raiders jersey. They're not going to do that. And he takes off the Raiders jersey, and underneath he's got a Christmas jersey, but it's Raiders. It's just Raiders-themed Christmas jersey. And then they show the next scene. He's at the Christmas party, but all of her family, they all 49er fans. That was, that was clever. Um... A local commercial, obviously, but yes, uh, it was it was the, it was down. I don't know what the score was, but it was it was tied when it left. It was um, it was two teams playing the Washington Redskins and the New York Jets. That's what. It was. Yeah, mm. they were tied, so they're evenly matched in battle. It was a Klingon feast anyway. Because of course the Irish side are Klingons, obviously. Mm. The Italian side are either Vulcans or Romulans. So there's this sort of mix. <laughs> the others are human. Mmm, Vulcan Klingons. <laughs> <laughs> and of course not actually saying anything in any language, it's just Klingon. It's made up. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I'm rambling about stuff, because I should be stopping now. Yeah. Uh. Whew, fuck. Oh. I wonder if I'll get in trouble for saying, dropping two F-bombs in this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't care. <laughs> F bombs. F bombs. Ha! Mm, I brought back an ancient Mark's card silly track story as part of Starship Locations. Uh, the right hand of the the Libyan, now called the Weskin or the Q. But it's 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 a yeah, a silly story where this this. It was very strange. I was I was making fun of terrorists, but back when it was like the eighties, so it wasn't like like actual terrorists. It was more like pretend movie terrorists. So there was a terrorist girl. She was on the ship and threatening the crew, and then and I guess she dies. There, there was a plot hole, and I had to fill it. So so it was all this episode fills it. So I might as well use it. So I rewrote it as a. As a as a full fledged episode from a, from a couple of spec pieces that were left over from the original story, and regenerated it as the actual an actual full on <laughs> Starship Locations short story, um, yeah. So it's in there, and um, yeah, it's it's weird. Uh, it, it relies a little bit on our present selves as older guys appearing at one point in a cameo, a couple of cameos in there to explain things, but. That's the way the whole series kind of terminates anyway, so it's not completely unreasonable for weird time-traveling warp sailor floaty people going around. Uh, yeah, so Starship Locations will explore some of that, uh, yes, <laughs> in the future uh, as, as a more of a blog about science fiction and reviews and things than it is a game at this point because we don't have any players. Uh, so, anyway, so, yeah, uh, yeah, it isn't that they backed out, it's that it never started to be, to begin with, uh, yeah, so, that was a little, a little, not disingenuous, we were just jumping the gun, that, we were just saying, like, oh, it's totally gonna happen, we're just gonna make it happen, because, yeah, silly track, yeah, like, that's not how that works, um, yeah. so, here we are, yeah. Uh, let's let's yeah black friday tomorrow